Google is showing a lot more of this in search engines, so what should you do? Well, first, what am I talking about? If you look inside of Google, you are seeing a lot more images and you're seeing a lot more video showing up. So what you wanna do is do a search for all of your top keywords, the ones you care the most about inside of Google, and then see, are they returning images? Are they returning videos? In addition to that, if you want to take it a step further, you can go inside of SEMrush and put in your top keywords. There's going to be a little icon, and that icon is going to tell you which of the search queries return multimedia. Once you have that list of all of your most important keywords and then all the corresponding web pages that you have, you want to go down that list step by step and see which ones are returning videos, which ones are returning images, and then make custom graphics and make custom videos that are specific to each of those pages. Embed the videos, add the images, resubmit your site maps to Google Search Console and Bing Webmaster Tools so that Google can pick that up and then track that over time. And in the future, I think we're gonna be looking at video optimization, image optimization, text optimization, all as different pillars for search engine optimization. And even now, we can see the number of impressions inside of Google Search Console. We can see the amount of traffic that we're getting from images and videos. So it is here now, it is the time of multimedia, and we need to make it part of the strategy. We can do this for everything from top service pages to things like e-commerce pages, to things like top content pages, to local pages. So make sure that you're thinking about video and you're thinking about images and the entire multimedia experience for your search engine optimization.